By the way, I think I'm on the verge. I don't think it's insane. I think it's very sane, but it sounds insane. I think I am on the verge of starting to become that guy who talks to people at the park. And I'll tell you why. Not everybody here is from Vancouver and people that are from Vancouver might have a different view of things. I think we live in a pretty antisocial city for the most part. Seems you always see posts on r slash Vancouver that are like, it's, it's hard to make friends here. People flake out all the time. I, and I enjoyed that before I had kids. We, we had plans to go camping with another family who has kids that are the same age as our daughter. We had a double campsite booked. We, were, we had a Google sheet. Everybody was coordinating stuff. Uh, and then like two days before we left for the camping, they were like, we can't go, we're sick. I believe that they were sick, but I would also be lying if 11 years of living in Vancouver didn't have me thinking like, what, well, maybe before we go camping, we'll just swing by your place with like some bone broth and be like, knock, 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 motherfuckers. Let's see if you are actually sick. Hey, we got you some bone broth because we heard you guys are sick. Wait a minute, you're all wearing swim trunks. Anyway, I assume that they were actually, so I have no reason to believe that they just flaked on us. But I'm saying it's a Vancouver classic. Is, and I've done it myself because I sometimes you'll be like, yeah, I'll be there. And then on Saturday, you're like, no shot. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little under the weather. Oh, get well soon, get well soon. Yeah, I will. Yeah, I'm going to take her easy. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Rick and Morty on the TV. Anyway. But for me, I don't care because I enjoy my own company. I'll listen to music, listen to podcasts, go for a walk, whatever. But I want my daughter to socialize with kids that are roughly her, so, her same age. You know, kids that are somewhere between one and like five right now. So at the park, that's like the main way that I am introduced to people who have kids that are roughly the same age as my daughters. But it's actually like more nerve wracking than being like a teenager and trying to ask someone out on a date is to go up to like another parent at the park and be like, like, I am going to try to become friends with you, but really to try to set it up so that like your kid and my kid can just play around and we can both sit on a bench and look at our phones. Part of it is in my own head because I always feel like when I talk to somebody at the park, I have to like walk up and be like, that's my kid. <laughs> just I'm like, I'm not here by myself. I'm not here by myself. That's my kid right there. The one who just fell down and scraped her knee because I wasn't paying attention. I pay attention. How's he doing? This weekly is easy so far. This is my best run on the weekly. Shut up, okay? I'm in the middle of something. I'm building a bit. Don't shut up. Thank you for your comment. Isn't it the norm that if your kids are playing, you can approach the parents? Well, listen, it's, it's tough, okay? I, maybe it's the norm, but I'm, I'm, I think it's 50-50. There's a couple of things too, okay? Because like a lot of people with kids my daughter's age now have like two kids, which necessitates both parents going to the park a lot of the time. So like I don't, it's not my strong suit, but I don't mind walking up to like another dad and then being like, you know, hey, did you see the score last night or whatever? Like with, it happens all the time. But like walking up to a couple as an individual is like an extra step because I'm like, you've already got that built in socialization. And then the other thing is, and I don't blame myself for this because that requires gazing inwards. I blame society. I don't feel comfortable walking up to like a mom at the park and striking up a conversation. Just because there's a lot of bad guys out there, <laughs> and I'm, I'm not one of them, but she might think I'm one. I mean, how could she not? How could she know? How could she know? She'd be like, this asshole walked up to me at the park yesterday, asked if I saw the score, and then went, I'm not weird, that's my kid over there, and just pointed to a random half-Asian child. Yeah, okay. Dude, you're pale and you have no hair. Um, human resources? It's probably like in my head or whatever, though. Maybe. <laughs> so my daughter, um, every once in a while on YouTube, she sees like this Lego channel and they make Lego uh, videos of major media properties. I don't know why I phrased it like such a point Dexter. No wonder I can't make any friends. <laughs> 
But she, she watches this one that's like, Grogu's day in the snow. And it's like the Mandalorian flies and lands the ship and then falls asleep. And Grogu goes out in the snow and makes like a big snowball and then it falls on his head. She loves watching it. She'll watch it like, it's a minute long. She'll watch it like 22 times in a row. Um, and she knows who Grogu is because Grogu is our Disney Plus avatar. So she'll say, who's that? And I say, you know who that is. And then she goes, that's Grogu. And then she points at the, Tomo, you okay, buddy? She points at the Mandalorian and goes, who's this guy? And I say, that's the Mandalorian. And then she says, who do you like more, Grogu or Helmet Guy? And I say, I like Grogu more. And then she says, but I like Grogu more. And I say, okay, I like Helmet Guy. But then also I told her that like, we watched the second season of The Mandalorian together when she was like a day old because we were waking up at 3 a.m. to bottle feed her. And like, that was just happened to be coming out at that time on Disney+. Plus. And she was like, yeah, I watched it when I was a baby. I said, play Grogu show, play Grogu show. And I said, no, you freaking did not. As a four-day-old baby, you did not say play Grogu show. You went, wah, wah, wah. You okay, Tomo? He kind of jumped up like into the desk a little bit. Tomo, go, go sit on the bench back there. You would love it. Chat would love it. Everyone would love it. You mean I owned her? I didn't own her. She was just telling lies. Papa.